oh my Northwood Candle Supply sent me their brand new fragrances that have just launched. I'm so excited to break into this box. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Carrie. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. Today, I'm very excited to share with you Northwood Candle Company's 2024 new fragrance oil lineup. I am so hyped. Thank you so much to Northwood for sending me these. Let's open her up. Oh, look at this box. Oh my goodness. V Excite. Oh my gosh. There is the box, folks. I subscribe to their emails, so I have a sneak peek into what is in here, but let's open it up. Spring, summer release, spring and summer release. This is what the box looks like. I feel like this is gonna need to be a two pot up because there's just so many, or should it be a long video? I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna go to my community. If you are new here or you're not, I do like to go to the community tab and post things there. I've done a poll there before. Um, I'm gonna put a poll up there. Or if you don't care about the community tab, can you let me know in the comments below? I would love to know. Holy moly, there is so much stuff in here. Holy moly. Wait, 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 wait. How many are in here? What? Wow, that is so generous. Thank you, Northwood. Dang. I have all of these oils. They're actually on the website. They're broken up into two packs. So we have the new 2024 perfume and cologne sample pack. And then the other one is the new fragrance sample pack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dig into the perfume and cologne sample pack because I recently have been dabbling with making my own perfumes, colognes, and body oils so i like oils over perfumes but i also like to to uh, layer them so let's get into the perfume and cologne sample pack if you haven't seen my previous video with my favorite northwood fragrances check it out i'll also link it down below um one of my absolute faves is the Santal 33 basically a dupe um the palo santo is also great as well but anyway check that out all right, the first fragrance oil we're going to start with is called Bay 19. Oh, is it gonna work? Boom. I love Le Label, however you say it. <laughs> They're just mad expensive. So being able to create my, oh, I'm gonna show you here. Being able to create my own uh, saves me hundreds of dollars. <laughs> and that's per bottle, you know what I'm saying? I wear perfume every day. I wear it for me because it makes me feel good. So depending upon my mood, I like to put it on. All right, let's check it out. Oh, interesting. Okay, this isn't an exact dupe. However, it's similar. If you're not familiar with Bay 19 from La Labo, it's a very earthy, patchouli, like petrichor, if you're familiar with petrichor fragrance oils or you just know what petrichor is, it's basically that smell after it rains where everything's kind of wet, damp, mossy, grassy type of thing. This one is more like spicy grass. It's like grassy. The patchouli is really light. I mi it's like missing, it's missing some key elements for me personally, though it's very nice. Like it needs some musk and some sweetness, like it definitely has the ozonic, petrichory fragrance. It's more leaves to me. Let me see what Northwood has. They don't have fragrance notes for this yet, so I'm just going to share <laughs> what I smell. And yeah, it is, it's kind of like, I'm getting celery, like a celery root type of fragrance as well. It's nice, it's, it's just not a dupe. Next fragrance oil is called Daydreams. Daydream. It looks like it kind of, come on. I've never tried this perfume before. Oh my gosh. This is really beautiful. It's very light. It's very floral. So I get coconut. Like the first thing I got was coconut. And then I'm getting um, tiare, which I don't know if I'm saying that right. I absolutely love that fragrance. It's so nostalgic to me too. It just brings back so many good memories. 
Um, I, it's, I smell like some citrus in here. I smell a little neroli, I think. That's what it is. Like it's definitely it got some citrus in there. A little sweetness. Do I smell peony? I'm not sure. Maybe? This is really nice. I couldn't tell you if it's a dupe though, but it's, it's really light. It's really pretty. Let me look up this perfume. Oh, the bottle is gorgeous. I'll put it here. Wow. That is a sexy bottle. Here's what it says on the Montel, Montel website. Uh, rem reminiscing warm summer nights in Greece where the daylight is endless. The air evokes a scent of orange blossom, jasmine, and mandarin. Okay. The neroli and tiare flower and the sandalwood awake the night into a surprising vanilla coconut realm. I'm not getting the sandalwood. Yeah, for sure. Okay, maybe I thought the peony is, it's actually the jasmine. <laughs> um, wow, okay, vanilla, I smell the coconut. I, this is a luxurious smelling, this is a luxurious smelling perfume. It's also $170 for a bottle. So. Oh my God! I'm super into that, that's really, I don't typically like like super florally things. There's always room for tiare, faux show. Let's talk about high maintenance. This bottle is high maintenance, I'm trying to get it filmed. You can see that like, so Daydreams, totally clear. High maintenance has um, a golden hue to it. High maintenance, Tyler Candle type. Also have not heard of that. So we are just going to dip our strip. Super light, okay. Top notes are jasmine and citrus. The middle notes are spice, cyclamen, and lily. I'm definitely smelling the lily. And the base notes are patchouli, amber, and sweet vanilla. <sighs> this almost smells like when you go walk into Neiman Marcus. I don't shop there. I go in there to use the bathroom. I am not shopping at Neiman Marcus. <laughs> oh my God. So I, it's got a powderiness to it that I'm smelling. Oh my God. So the spice, the cyclamen, the lily, and the vanilla, that's, those are the fragrances that I'm getting the most. Let's look up Tyler Candle. Ooh, oh, I love that. I Who knew? I did, I'm totally exposed to something I've never. Oh my gosh, this is so good. There's definitely something powdery in here. This is really special. And I think that would make a gorgeous perfume. It's like really perfumey. And I also think it would make a very luxurious candle. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't blend it. I wouldn't do anything with that. Ooh, okay. Well, that's my favorite so far. Let's get into Lost Cherry, a Tom Ford type. This is a gorgeous bottle. I'm very familiar with this perfume. We're... I can smell it. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, boy. Gorgeous. Okay, yeah. So you're getting that sweet cherry first and foremost. The almond is way more toned down here. Let's take a look at the, the notes. Top notes are sweet cherry and almond. <laughs> the middle notes are gourmand, leaf green, and jasmine. I'm not really getting the jasmine too much. The base notes are musk, sandalwood, and oak moss. Yeah, it's, it's like a little spicy. Um, if I had to sum this fragrance up, I would say it's, it's a pretty near dupe. Um, totally passable. You're getting that, the sweet almond, you're getting a little spiciness from the cinnamon, um, probably a little bit of the clove, but those things aren't like front and center. Ugh, yeah. And look at that creative. It is like, mm. all right, let's get into Lease 41. This is another Le Labo fragrance. It's $99 per half ounce for the perfume. <laughs> but look at how clear that is. If it matters, it doesn't to me. So Lise is a very floral, like white floral type of perfume. Um, it's, everything is really nice. It's just like, what do you gravitate toward? This is a very popular wedding day fragrance. So if you're in the market, all right, I'm gonna tell you the notes. Uh, tuberose, lily, jasmine, vanilla, musk, and wood. <sighs> yeah. You're getting tuberose and lily first and foremost. Like it's tuberose forward, I think. It's beautiful. It is so elegant. It's very classy. Ugh, beautiful. I think also too, if you are a candle maker and you want uh, to suggest like 
for wedding potty favors. Those are very big. White Neroli was uh, super popular for me for wedding favors. White tea. Um, anything that's like a white flower. I think it's just very reminiscent of a wedding day. Um, you could do, oh, yeah, that smells so expensive. I think this is pretty much an exact dupe. That is pretty spot on. No notes. Let's get into Narcissist. It's got a little bit of a golden yellow hue. I dipped it up to the, just past the first line. <laughs> okay, so this already just smells like super fresh and clean. Let's see what the fragrance notes are. <laughs> A clean, well-balanced aroma of floral, spices, woods, and musk. They're saying this is great for perfume, room sprays, candles, soap, and more. Top notes are fresh and clean floral. Nailed it. Middle notes are spice and jasmine. The base notes are velvet, woods. I love that. Musk and sweet earth. Yeah, this is really... I, I would say the jasmine and the musk are like the things that I'm that are sticking with me, but it's absolutely fresh, fresh, fresh. So fresh and so clean, clean. Oh, this is really, really light, just something to keep in mind. This is also another great candidate for a wedding weekend type of thing, like a room spray or candles that are lit in this. Absolutely would make a lovely perfume. Oh yeah, it's more fresh and floral, like first and foremost. Yeah, I think the musk is nice. I would add a little bit more musk to this Oh, it's really good. Mm. I don't know what Velvet Woods is, but I like it. <laughs> All right, we're going to get into Rose Noir. Also has a bit of a golden yellow hue to it, which is a Byredo type. Byredo is also just another spendy uh, perfume, but delicious. I love the Gypsy Water. It's very, very nice. Let me tell you... Okay, they don't have the notes on here, but they have a gorgeous photo of like a pink rose. So, well, by Rado. So the top notes are grapefruit, freesia, red berries, and cardamom. Middle notes are damask, rose, raspberry, lily of the valley, jasmine, and violet. The base notes are moss, musk, labdanum, and patchouli. Let's give it a swirl. It's super light. Um, I'm not getting a ton of the rose. I would say the the violet and the lily of the valley. This smells a little like um, a spray, like an all-purpose spray cleaner, but like a really nice one. And I'm not saying that <laughs> to be rude. It's just, that's what it smells like to me. It's, um, it's really light. It's, it's, um, I'd be worried. About, I, I'm curious how this would perform given that it's really hard to smell on the strip. Maybe it'll, it'll just bloom in wax or other products and, you know, you'll really get a sense of um, what all the notes. Uh, the freesia for sure, but I would say the lily of the valley, the violet, a little bit of the rose, the musk and the moss are really coming through at the bottom. Um, not too much of the labdanum or the patchouli. Interesting. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. Lily of the valley is fantastic. I think I was turned on to lily of the valley like in the last year and I don't hate her. She's not for me, but sometimes I'm like, you wanna grab lunch? You know what I mean? Okay, this one's okay. Not my fave so far. The last one is unnamed. It's also a Byredo type, so here we go. What's interesting about this perfume is it literally does not have a name on the label because it is unnamed. Uh, the story is that they want you to write your own. I think that's pretty cool. All right, this is a really nice one. Um, let's see how it compares. They don't have any notes uh, listed on the website, but I will go to Byredo. All right, the top notes are Gin Accord Pink Peppa. The middle or the hot, as they're calling it, is Lush Violet and Oris Stem. And the base is Fir Balsam and Tree Moss. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, okay. This, this is a dupe right here. Like, wow. Wow, this is so good. This is such a mood thing too for me. Like this fragrance, 
Oh, it's it's got a little bit of the sweetness from the pink Peppa. It is so perfectly balanced and it's so clean. Like, if you you know if you go on vacation and you've been like swimming in the ocean, you're salty, everything. You you like shower and you're clean. And then with you still have wet hair, but you spray perfume. Like this is the perfume you want to spray because then it can kind of linger in your wet hair. And then when it dries, you just everything is like a cohesive deliciousness. That's what this is. This is definitely going to be a perfume for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm testing. I'm testing. I'm testing. Yeah, this is, they nailed it. Holy moly. Dang. So happy with that. Ooh! So those are a lot of fragrance oils. I am going to wrap it up here. <laughs> I will be back with pot two of the candle fragrance oil pack. Um, we got, let's see, two, four, six. We've got another eight to dive into. I'm very very excited let me know what you're interested in down below are you going to check out this sample pack i will leave everything linked down below i do have a an affiliate link for northwood so if you are considering purchasing something from northwood it's absolutely free to click on my link and make a purchase i do get a very small percentage and that helps support me this channel and, and what i'm doing here so stay tuned for part two where we're going to dive into the candle fragrances i'm super excited about those um, and what I'm, we're going to make thank you again to northwood candle supply for sending me this very generous box of fragrance oils to play with and share with my youtube fam thank you thank you so much and until the next one i'll see you then bye